All right, this regards vortex theory and matter, uh, and, and it, it relates to time and the wave structure versus vortex theory. It's all gobbledygook as far as I'm concerned. I have a theory called vortex theory, but it has nothing to do with time. It is the fact that light is a spinning electron that leaves the sun or a, a, any star spinning as a spinning particle which is a, an electron weighing a certain amount, a very tiny amount and it spins at varying frequencies through the vacuum of space not interacting with nuclear material and therefore not being visible. We know it was energy when it left the Sun. We know it is energy when it hits us, uh, 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 you or me or the Earth or, or um, a solar panel on Earth, we know it's energy then. Well, why is it energy in the middle? Of course it's energy in the middle, and it's dark energy. They've been looking for dark energy. There it is, and it's also dark matter. You don't see it. It's there. It has to be there. That's my theory. That's vortex theory. And I'm going to show you some pictures that virtually prove it. And vortex theory states, not only is an electron the particle and the wave in the same structure because it's spinning and creates a, a wave if you look at it from the side and it's a particle obviously because it's an electron and they have all different frequencies of light and intensity and energy depending upon how fast they spin and there is no quantum spin there it's a it's a, a, a varying spin from almost no spin up to sizzling spin and that's the deal and I'm going to show you uh, Rodney Warren does the experiments on photographing this stuff. I do the theory part. And what he's done is he's literally proven the theory. So I'm going to show you that. All right, this is traditionally the way they show light uh, propagating through, uh, just like liquid. And I agree exactly, it is liquid. Now, and it does make these types of patterns. I agree with that 100% as well. However, this is on the surface. When we photograph it, it's a complete disc spinning like this. And I'll show you that. All right, now this is what Rodney's got a shot of. And we are looking directly in, straight in, to the laser light. And as it comes through the Venturi slit, it explodes into the exact same patterns that we show. So you see these? These are the complete plates. We're not just seeing the ripples on the surface, we're seeing the entire plates. And we're seeing certain ones have more intensity than the other ones. They're deeper, they're denser, they're more, the frequency uh, apparently is faster, giving them more mass. Here's a shot that has stepped away further. And we're seeing the trails coming out through the Venturi. They're not in those perfect wave patterns because we're using the Venturi to accelerate the liquid light, the electrons, we're accelerating and forcing them through a Venturi. And there is no alternative. They have to accelerate. And they're being forced through there. And when they do, they explode in chaos. It destroys their, their, their basic structure. And it, when they accelerate, they explode into chaos. They come out the other side of the slit as Cherienko white radiation. All right, this is Rodney's experiment in stunning HD. <laughs> He's got a red laser shooting down here. It's, I believe, a pulse red laser. I don't do the experiments. Rodney does that. I do the theory, so I, 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 I know what he tells me and what I see. And I believe it's a pulse red laser. And the two round, actually, they're carpentry nails he's using for the orifice. And what happens is the orifice is now a venturi because of the architecture of the slit. Now, what we do find, and you'll see, I'm going to show you what happened. So when he hits this, it explodes. It just doesn't come straight through here and, and do the little things they show. It's come, you know, through a flat slit. It's coming through and forcing itself. You get this re or decompression here, the compression reverse, and then a shower here. You get some intensity here because it's trying to force itself. You get these particulate showers and then this radiation cone uh, compression effect coming outwards. And all the particle rays are there. And then they begin to immediately slow down because they are now in unrestricted space. And every single component of that is 
absolutely clear. And I'm going to show you that right now. And look at it. All right, this is what Rodney has found. And here it is. This is just incredible, actually. It took my breath away to speak. Now, these are the light discs. And look at it. It's compressing itself and being sucked into that Venturi. Here's the Venturi right here. There's a circle here and here. You see, it's trying to get through there. It can't get through this Venturi. And as it does, it, it does this. It re radiates out into space backwards because, just think, and it's obvious, and that's what it would do in a puddle of water. When it comes out this side, I can show you how they start to form into the same cups we see in the, uh, the liquid portrayals of light. And you can notice right here, you see this? You see that white right there? It's coming through here in chaos, absolute total chaos. And I'll show you the very close-ups, absolutely unbelievable. Eddy currents, all kinds of particular colors, just total, total, absolute craziness. And it starts to slow down here, and it becomes less and less. And here you can see it's just exactly what vortex particle theory predicted is exactly what is seen. There is absolutely nothing that conflicts. And there it is. There's the chaos coming directly out of the slit. And if you look at these things, do you see these little squared off? Little, those are supposed to be round disks. And, well, that's what I'm saying. I, I could be totally wrong, but that's what we see. They should be round disks, and they will turn into round disks. You see them start to trail off here, and eventually they'll turn into perfectly spinning round disks. And I'll show you that in a second in, in a different colored laser, uh, blue laser. I don't know how he does these things, but he's... The one I saw was blue, and I can see the trails. And there they are. And here's what happens as they come through the Venturi. So these are separate trails. And some of them are more intense than other ones, and this one is, and this one is much less intense. And as it comes out of here, that is the pulsation of the, elect, of the um, pulse laser, I believe. Could be wrong, but I believe that's correct. And uh, as it comes through, it, it has this spinning and you can see that it sort of drifts over there because the spin and the distance make the, 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 the drift happen. And you can see that they compress very strongly at the end as they become into the uncompressed space. All of them do the exact same thing. That's what I'm saying happens and that's what Rodney has appeared to prove. He, Rodney may have even photographed the particles themselves, I don't know. I don't know how he does this, but I can tell you the things that he does, these are the, the trails, and here they are. And now not only do we have them in green, we have them in red too. Hold on a second. All right, here they are in red. And, and I, again, I am clueless as to how he does these things, but these are the waves, and this sits on a single wave. And they all sit on single waves. You see this? That's on a single wave, that's on a single wave. Here they're blurry, here they're blurry, but they're sitting on the waves. And this is right at the slit where it comes through in chaos. And then it's still a little bit bright and then it's starting to dim down. And they are taken on at this spot right here. They seem to be coming back into reality and then they, they blur out again. I, I have no clue as to say this is uh, particles or not. but. It looks exactly like the um, the atomic energy symbol in the 50s. So, so I, I just have no clue. All I can say is what we're seeing. Now, see that? You see this one over here? It's exactly opposite. Here and here, this one goes the other way. The dark goes that way instead of this way. All I can say is we're seeing what we're seeing. We need somebody to take a look at this because we're at the end of our possible capabilities. And, and, and as far as I'm concerned, my vortex theory is, is case closed, it's unless somebody can come up with a better theory. And I haven't had heard it, and I haven't had a challenge to mine either, so that's the case.